Hello, hello, hello. Look what has just arrived. The Witch's Wisdom Tarot and the Chrysalis Tarot. Oh, I am so happy, but also overwhelmed. Oh, I've been wanting these decks for a long time. Gone back and forth. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? <laughs> Never mind. Um... Anyway, now I'm sat here with, like, a decision I can't make. Which one should I unbox and do a first impressions of first? I made a poll on my Instagram um, a few minutes ago and I just realised that I am too um, impatient to wait for the verdict. So I'm just going to make the decision myself. <laughs> um... But I can't. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, let's rationalize this. Which is wisdom. Beautiful. I've seen most of the cards. Curious about the size of it. Curious about the guidebook. But all of this goes for this as well. Oh, maybe ikka pika poo. <laughs> This is silly. I will uh, try and have time to film both first uh, first impressions tonight. Um, so I'm just gonna go. Okay. So I guess that answers the question. It really, it should be this one because this one died. But I want. I. I I want to stop the Christmas. <laughs> All right. Um, let's dig in. Let's see here. Ooh, I've got my trusty sewing needle. I swear these plastic packagings are so annoying. But with a sewing needle, it's a breeze. Hot tip from me to you. <laughs> All right. Chrysalis Tarot, I've been waiting for you, sorry for the embarrassing singing. <laughs> I, I get a little bit silly when I'm excited, but I'm not going to apologise um, anymore. Uh, Alright, so this is just a cardboard sleeve it looks like, it pulls out, it's got like little innards like that. Just a piece of styrofoam. Crash, boom, bang. And here we also have a spread, summing sheet, big poster like thing. I'm not gonna unwrap, um, unfold that now. Okay, so we've got the big book and the deck. Um, the deck comes in a separate um, tuck box, which it will not live in. Um, I will make a bag for this. And the guidebook. Ooh, shall I look at the guidebook first? Shall I be that annoying? I'm just going to do a quick flip. You can uh, skip this part. Um, I will put the timestamps um, in the description. So you can just skip this part if you're not interested in the book. Um... All right, all right, all right, all right. So we've got table of contents. I like, I like. Introduction, chapter one. Elpis Cosmic f Insight. Okay. This is interesting. So we've got forward. Quite a long forward. Introduction, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to read this book from cover to cover, I think, because the Chrysalis Tarot is a system all on its own. Um, so that's that is why I was struggling with should I or should not should I shouldn't I um, buy this deck. Same thing with the Witch's Wisdom. Um, I have too many decks already that f goes their own way, and I'm doing an. Um, study series of the forest of enchantment at the moment um link up here and um yeah it's um 
it is it is it is exhausting with so many different systems because i want to read with all of them but i'm gonna have to just eventually i suppose choose the system i like the most and use that as my main deck and then just like edge off every now and then i don't know <sighs> so we've got some stories here i think introducing i mean there's chapters here with some Yeah, and then part two takes a closer look at the card meanings. Okay, so it seems like the first five chapters or something has some kind of, um, like, um, I don't know, story slash introduction to the whole, like, system world view in this deck. And then we've got the individual cards and their meanings. And each major arcana seems to be getting one and a half page each, yeah, of text with a little black and white illustration up the top. And then let's see here if it's the same with the, yeah. The minor arcana also gets basically the same amount of information, so that's good. Let's quickly flip, 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 flip <laughs> to the back and have a look. Mm. And then we've got the chrysalis tarot spread, acknowledgments, and about the authors. And that was just quickly about the guidebook. Let's dig into the cards. Let's open. There we go. Oh, plastic around the cards. Whoopee. Such fun. Oops. Excuse the squeaky chair. Right, right, right cards seem to be regular standard size tarot cards let's confirm ah, slightly bigger slightly ever so slightly wider they are the same height but they are a couple of millimeters wider Right, right, right. Where's my trusty snow needle? There it is. More plastic waste. All right, look at these backs. My goodness aren't these so incredibly vibrant oh love it here we also get a little white book for quick references that's good 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 all right let's turn this around and zoom you guys in so you don't have to strain your eyes here we are. I hope that is good. Let's adjust the lighting a bit. Ooh, there we go. All right. Here we've got the title card, the Chrysalis Tarot, paintings by Holly Sierra and written by Tony, Tony, Tony Brooks. Uh, published by US Games Systems Inc. This is a deck that's fully available. It's uh, still mass market. Not difficult to get a hold of at all. So that's the title card. Then we've got a little bit of information about the authors and then we go into the cards. 
So like I said already, this is a deck with its own system that I have almost no clue about um, as of yet. Um, so I'm not going to be able to comment too much about the actual um, meanings of the cards uh, since I've only studied uh, like Rider Waite Smith system. I think some of the cards do correspond and are the roughly the same as as the RWS system, but as you can see here, we've got Merlin as the hero, and Merlin is famously a wizard, so you would have thought that he would be the magician. But I think that all of this shall be revealed and explained in the big, in the big guidebook. And um, at the moment, I'm doing a deep dive study of the Forest of Enchantment tarot, like I mentioned before. Um, but I think that this deck will also get the same treatment. So um, if you hang about, um, then eventually I will get to this deck and we will probably be going through this card by card as well um, to learn about this deck in particular. So that was Merlin, the hero, or you know, traditionally the fool. Very beautiful card. I love this artwork, that's why I couldn't say no to this deck. Um, if the system is anything for me, that remains to see. That, that's, that, that remains to be seen. Um, but, like I said to myself, if the cards, the system them itself doesn't really speak to me, I might just cut off all of the borders, just leave the artwork, and create an oracle deck. But we'll see. So that was Merlin. Here we've got the ravens for the magician. So you can see the uh, second order first number one card here is the magician. Same as regular tarot. Then we've got the high priestess, sorceress. Gaia, the Empress, so you can see we do have, uh, you know, the bones of regular, you know, tarot here. This Empress, look closer, we see a little bird's nest there and a snail on her arm and all kinds of little creases. There's a little mouse. The Green Man is the Emperor. Beautiful. Look at that wren down there. Gorgeous. The divine child is the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. Beautiful card again. I'm just going to say that every, every card in, in this deck is beautiful because... Honestly, I just love Holly Sierra's artwork. She's it's just so good. The lovers. Hmm. I love the duality here. We see the moon and the sun. The two turtle doves. All of the animals and this weird little man there. Is that supposed to be Merlin again? Or <laughs> don't know. Uh, Hearn the Hunter, the chariot. Now Hearn the Hunter, I believe, is from the story of the Wild Hunt. But I don't more, know much more than that. Gorgeous card though. Those eyes. Is your soul. Maat is justice, or Maat, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I have very little knowledge about Egyptian, um, Egyptian mythology. Very little. The storyteller is the hermit. I love that. Look at that close up. Go. 
gorgeous. I love all the details. The Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Papa Legba is strength. I need to read up on this um, properly. Definitely, I uh, my my uh, knowledge about Papa Legba is sorely lacking. Gorgeous card, though. Celtic Owl as the Hanged Man. I love my barn owls, as you probably know by now. <laughs> this is no exception. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ariadne as death. Interesting. Golden Flower as temperance. Oh, this deck is going to challenge me. Bella Rosa as the devil. Gorgeous card. Carly as the tower. So we see here we've got influences from mythologies all around the world. Elpi as the star. Moon as the moon. This is the same moon that's on the tuck box, I believe. Beautiful. So romantic. The sun was a crying sun. The phoenix has judgment. Beautiful. Rainbow phoenix. Okay, psyche as the world. Look at that cape. I mean, Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat can. <laughs> Go hide themselves in a cupboard. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. All right. Ace of Stones. Gorgeous. Love it. This is this is this this again. This is the reason why I love why I wanted this deck. These bears in this deck is just so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Two of Stones. Look at this bear. Look. Oh, my heart. Three of stones. We've got three owls by the fire. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I need the guidebook to tell me why. But <laughs> I love it. Four of stones. We've got this beautiful image about with a treasure, treasure chest, treasure. Why can't I say treasure? A treasure chest. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a bit tired, I think. I've been up since five o'clock this morning. <sighs> All right, five of stones. This crying little fairy. Six of stones, beautiful tree. Seven of stones. So I'm thinking stones might be um, pentacles, maybe. Not sure. Maybe we should have a little look so that I can actually. Suit of stones, traditional name, pentacles or coins. Yes. So I was correct about that. Seven of Stones. Right, so they have completely different keywords. I mean, Seven of Pentacles is usually 
taking stock, evaluating your what, um, and and like checking over your progress. And the key word here is regret. Whew. I really hope I'm gonna be able to read with this deck. If you have this deck and you love it, please tell me why down in the description and please tell me it's not so difficult to <laughs> to read with it if you if you generally normally read with um Rider Waite Smith. I think that this deck might be going according to numerology, which might be good for me because I've been thinking about starting to read more like that anyway. But um, six of stones, six of pentacles. So here we've got six of stones. Keyword caritas. Charity. Right, I'm not going to start getting into the guidebook. We are, we are going to do the first impressions now, Sandy. <laughs> All right. Eight of Stones. Gorgeous. Love it. Look at all of this, like, like um, cave drawings that's on the grass here as well. Lovely. Nine of Stones. I adore this uh, image, although it, I mean, this really reminds me of the Nine of Cups. Sorry, Eight of Cups instead of Nine of Pentacles. Don't you think? Ten of Stones. Look at her. This is, you know, Four of Pentacles. It's not Ten of Pentacles, surely. I love her face. I'm, I'm too curious to see what it says about the Ten of, ten of Stones now. Possessive. So, Four of four of pentacles in, in the Rider Waite Smith. Oh, this is going to be difficult. All right. Ace of mirrors. Water flowing from the mirrors. Looks like they're underwater. We've got a turtle here. Fishes seaweed so this is probably uh, the water suit cups ace of cups ace of mirrors two of mirrors yes so far so good i agree we've got suits one couple here mm -hmm. three of mirrors Three of Cups, alright, so we're already straying a little bit. Here we've got a lion and a lamb. It's a beautiful card though. Four of Mirrors. Mermaid, combing her, th her hair. Five of Mirrors. Hoodies. Hoodies, hoodies, hoodies. Forgiveness. Kuan Yin. Right. Mm -hmm. Six of mirrors. Memories. So six of cups, yeah. Nostalgia. That's, that works. That's the same. See, this is so difficult. Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> right, seven of mirrors. Discernment. Hmm. Right, putting away the guidebook now and just looking at the pictures. Eight of mirrors. Okay, so this this does also. Um, Remind this is Eight of Cups, the, the way I'm used to it, except for the fact that he's walking towards us instead of away from us. Hmm. Nine of Mirrors. This is 
gorgeous card. Look at these fairies. Beautiful. Ten of mirrors. A rainbow bird. Hmm. Ace of spirals. I'm assuming the court cards are gonna come last then. Yeah. So ace of spirals, 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 spirals. So is that wands then? Suzus, yes, so the spirals, wands, passion. Two of spirals. Okay, because of the roundness of the de the nest here, I just see, you know, uh, ace of, no, sorry, two of pentacles, but looking closer, you see that de the nests are empty and he sh the wren here is standing here with a, mm, with a worm in his beak ready to feed his or her young um, and there are no young there so I suppose he's planning for a family for you know yeah I can see that working three of spirals a Buddha head stuck in trees okay fair enough <laughs> Four of spirals. We've got four spirals in the grass here. Four of wands, yeah, that resting place. Uh, but usually we see a celebration in this card. Five of spirals, we've got a dragon. Okay. Six of spirals. Got some flags hanging in a tree. Mm -hmm. Seven of spirals. You know what I'm going to say about this card. I love it. It's got a bear. <laughs> mm. Eight of spirals. I love this card as well. It's one of the prettiest eight of ones I've seen, I think. And this one really works as a tradi like as a yeah I'm gonna say traditional um, Rider Waite Smith card. Nine of Spirals. Looks like the you know Father Wind or something. It reminds me of this um, animated um, fable. Um, there's this old fable for a fairy tale folk tale about the sun and the wind making a bet about who can make the man uh, a man that they're looking at uh, walking across like along a road which one of them can make the man take his coat off first or is it his hat i can't remember now i think it's his coat um and they make a bet. The wind is really overly um, cocky, saying, I can blow that jacket off him or something like that. And the sun just chuckles and says, yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's let's have a bet kind of thing. And then in, in the, the animation that I remember as a kid is they've animated this. Um, they've animated this um, in a little, like on a VHS tape or something this fable and the wind is just blowing and blowing and just got taking more and more effort to try and get the man to to take off his coat and the more he blows the more the man is just clinging to his coat because it's cold <laughs> you know so he's just wrapping up in his jacket and holding it tight and then when it's the sun's turn and the sun just starts beaming and making it really warm and the man starts sweating and then you know eventually he takes his coat off and the sun wins, wins the bet <laughs> so 
uh, I can't remember what that uh, fairy tale is called. But anyway, this card really just reminds me of that that uh, that specific uh, fairy tale. Ten of spirals, a centaur with a bunch of is that shells? No, it looks like yeah, shells or maybe rolled up carpets or something <laughs> on his back. Ace of scrolls, raven, some keys. Two of scrolls. A, okay, I was gonna say a Pegasus, but then I saw the horn, so it's a unicorn Pegasus. I did not know about them. Oh, this card. Look at these colours. My goodness. Oh, so pretty. So this is Three of Swords, hence the tears, I suppose. Four of Scrolls. Mm -hmm. Resting. Respite. Works. Five of Swords. Is this supposed to be like the sword in the stone from the Arthur legends, maybe? Six of scrolls, uh, an, el an elf, an elf and her elephant. <laughs> Seven of scrolls. Okay. Is it trying to make a choice between the two doors or? Hmm. Eight of scrolls, not at all the eight of swords I would be used to seeing. Hmm. Nine of scrolls, oh she's devastated. This one actually reminds me a bit of the crying angels in Doctor Who. <laughs> That's very far off, but it's just because of the graveyard and the these wings and the fact that she's crying. Never mind. Weeping angels, they're called, not crying angels. This card is so beautiful. Ten of swords. Don't get it though. This looks like a ten of pentacles to me. Sorry, nine of pentacles is what I mean. This looks like a nine of pentacles to me, not a ten of swords. Alright, so we are at the court cards, and the court cards have also been completely renamed. We do still get the the original underneath though to help us out. So we've got the minstrel, which is the king of stones. The artiste is the queen of stones. The illusionist is the knight of stones. Uh, the acrobat is the page of stones. Now, the court cards I can get on board with because it's more like they're keywords almost or key archetypes for these uh, court cards. So, and they're beautiful. Uh, the Sojourner, the King of Mirrors. The Watcher, Queen of Mirrors. This card. Oh, look at this card. Beautiful. The Dreamer, Knight of Mirrors. And the healer, page of mirrors. The companion, king of spirals. Hmm. The muse, queen of spirals. The corsair, knight of spirals. Is that how you say that? Would you pronounce that like that? The corsair? Pirate. The Mime, Page of Spirals. The Poet. <laughs> he looks like Fabio. <laughs> Doesn't he? Come on, that's Fabio. <laughs> King of Scrolls. Uh, the Weaver, Queen of Scrolls. The Visionary, Knight of Scrolls. 
and the pilgrim as the page of scrolls. Love that jacket. I want that jacket. <laughs> All right, so I am in for a challenge with this deck. I can tell you that already. Um, I think I'm going to have to put this deck aside until I'm ready for it. Um, I'm going to leave it in order, so I'm not going to to shuffle this now. Um, instead, I think that I am just going to tell you right now. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Oh, beautiful, beautiful deck. And I hope, I hope that I can one day read with it. If you have any experience with this deck at all, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to talk to somebody about this. Thank you so much for watching. Be well and take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.